there's a car. You have five seconds before the door is sealed. Five, four, three, two. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2024 horror film, The Watchers. The film is co-written and directed by Ishana Shyamalan. And yes, it is her feature debut um, and she is the daughter of M. Night Shyamalan. And it stars Dakota Fanning, Georgina Campbell, Alwyn Fear, Oliver Finnegan and John Lynch. Right, the film follows Dakota Fanning's character, Mina. Um... And it's set in Ireland, and she is given the task of delivering a parrot to a distinguished customer. Um, while she sets off to deliver this parrot, she kind of gets lost in these strange woods. Um, some, some strange things starts happening, and she is beckoned to enter a strange room. Um, when she gets in there, she is then informed that she's basically stuck there with them. Um, and every night, some um, somebody called the Watchers turns up, essentially, to watch them. So they've got to line up, hand in hand, and be watched like animals in a zoo, I guess. Uh, during the day, there are certain rules they have to follow. And if they don't, then it will put every single one of them at risk. As time goes by, Mina is not accepting that she's going to stay here. And she pushes back and tries to find a way to get out right what are my thoughts on the watchers um the trailer for this really i thought was very interesting um i, I thought the whole idea and concept of this you know almost like as i said like being animals in a zoo and being watched by these things every night sort of thing was quite fascinating and and i, and I think the film does a decent job here of kind of keeping the mystery going um and then kind of falls at the last hurdle sort of thing in regards to the reveal of what's actually happening here um it was far the reveal was less interesting than the mystery as far as i'm concerned and you could say that about a lot of films like this sort of thing when they kind of the mystery is revealed or the curtain is drawn back it's not as fascinating as the mystery um and this this film suffers quite a lot because of that um now the director here um ishana shamlan as i mentioned she's the daughter of m night shamlan um and she's definitely got a very similar eye, I think, as her father. The film feels a little bit like a Shyamalan film. Um, you know, it's it's highly polished. Um, it's got that kind of feel of a of a, an, an M Night Shyamalan. And I don't I don't mean that as a disrespect. I don't I don't mean that as of like she's a chip off the old block. I'm just saying she's obviously got an eye here and she's got a talent. In my opinion, I think she probably needs to distance herself from the style of films that her father makes. And this is a style of film that her father would make. Um, so I think if she wants to be taken seriously as a filmmaker, she's got to go off on her own and do her own stuff. Um, and that's just me. But that's not saying I don't think she does a good job here, because I absolutely do. She's very competent in what she's doing and what she's putting on screen here just feels too similar to her father's work. Dakota Fanning is fine here as the lead character, as this Mina who, you know, um, we learn from her past, has had a very difficult past, um, so on and so forth. We get that through flashbacks. I'm, again, I'm not, I'm not sure we needed some of the flashbacks, and I'm always, I always kind of say this when there's flashbacks in films, there's not, Often I watch flashbacks and I think film the film is better for them. And I don't think this film is better for them. We don't necessarily need the flashbacks. Um, and there's... I don't know if... It, it, there's not enough scares is what I'm supposed I'm trying to get at here. There's a, there's a really effective scene where during the day you know they do she does a little bit of investigating with another of the characters and she kind of goes down into this tunnel and it all gets a bit spooky and what have you and that was very effectively done i thought 
Um, but there's other things that happen in the film um, that you just kind of, kind of defies logic as well, sort of thing. It does make you kind of question. I mean, it, it hints that they've been in this room, some of them, for many, many months. Um, now, if if you were stuck in, like, you know, a room as big as this room is, and it's not a big room, surely you would have explored every inch of this room that you were in. And then, lo and behold, this one fateful night when it looks like the Watchers have kind of had enough, they discover all of a sudden in this room that there is um, a hatch leading to another part downstairs. Um, I just couldn't... I struggled to buy that in a sense of, hang on a minute, you, you just figured that out now when you absolutely needed to? Um, I just I found that a little bit silly, and beyond a couple of like tense and reasonably scary moments, the film doesn't offer much else in regards to scares, and the potential was de definitely there. I think for some pretty well done scares, and we never really get them. The t for me, the too few and far between, and I would have I would have loved a little bit more of them down in this hatch when they discover like this hatch thing i would have i would have liked to have seen more of that down there sort of thing a little bit more investigating down there and um and then you know you kind of get this elongated ending and they can go two ways with movies you know they either go on too long and you get bored and you're kind of like okay you please end now um and i think this film was bordering on that but again, this, this this is me sort of saying that it felt too much like one of her father's films because I kept waiting for the twist to come, um, and then remembering, oh, it's not. This isn't M Night Shyamalan. Are we going to get a twist? Are we going to get one of those reveals or twists that we get so many times in his movies? And you do. Um, is it effective? Is it what you expect? Was it a surprise? None of the above, really. It, it, it was a little bit of an anticlimax, if I'm honest. You know, it was an anticlimax when you kind of found out who the watchers were, and then it was an anticlimax and not really a surprise when you get a little bit more information as the film is kind of um, finishing. Um, so it's again, it's it's one of those films. As I've said, the mystery is better than the reveal. Um, it's not what I would describe as scary enough, even though there are some effective moments and scenes in the film. The performances are of a very good standard. We've got Georgina Campbell as well, who I think should be a bigger star than she is after watching her in that horror film Barbarian from a couple of years ago. It was just excellent. And Alwyn Fuer, and I'm probably pronounced that wrong, who plays Madeline in this film. You know, you see her in absolutely everything these days, it would seem. Um, so she's kind of potentially being overused in movies like this. So it, it's a fascinating film, this. Story. It has its moments, um, but you kind of get the impression when the film finishes, that it didn't just quite reach its potential. I think it could have been a hell of a lot better. But it was an interesting film debut for um, Ishana Shyamalan, and I will be interested to see what her next project is. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.